Integrated Diagnostics is a company that uh, we started from ISB about uh, five years ago. Uh, it's a company that was employing our systems approaches uh, to blood diagnostics to identify biomarker panels to diagnose disease. I think is a pioneering demonstration of the power of these new systems-based techniques for being able to identify uh, blood biomarker panels. It basically shows that we can create a panel of 13 blood proteins which upon quantification can actually distinguish normal lung nodules from neoplastic uh, nodules. And this is really a pioneering effort in the sense that because most of the surgical procedures carried out on lung nodules are done on individuals with benign nodules, since 90% of the nodules are benign, this test has the potential to save the healthcare system uh, billions of dollars. I think the most fundamental research was the idea that you could take systems approaches to analyzing the blood that let you deal with an enormous amount of noise that occurs when you look at the bloods of normal and bloods of uh, individuals with disease. You always see lots and lots of differences. 99% of the differences are noise. So the fascinating question is how you extract the signal from that enormous amount of noise. And it was these systems approaches to blood that allowed us to identify the signals and most recently identify a panel of 13 proteins that distinguishes benign from neoplastic lung nodules. I probably started thinking about blood as a window into health and disease back at the very beginning of ISB. I remember in uh, 2002 we began the first experiments that eventually led to a conceptual framework for this, uh, this whole approach. There are many things that are key. It isn't one simple kind of thing. But I think what was really key is to recognize most of the differences you see are noise and then to try and figure out ways to eliminate that noise. And we've, we've approached that in probably at least 10 different ways now, and they've all, been, uh, they've all been successful to varying degrees. But clearly the paper with integrated diagnostics is a, a pioneering transformational paper that shows how powerful this is going to be in opening up the field of blood diagnostics. My feeling is virtually any disease where you have a clear phenotype, that is you can clearly distinguish between the normal individuals and the diseased individuals, we now have the ability to make uh, blood marker panels that will be very effective in carrying out diagnosis. Oh, I think it could be applied to any type of cancer. I think it could be applied to the various forms of neurodegeneration, Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's, and so forth. I think it could be applied to cardiovascular disease. Really, it could be applied just to any type of disease you wish. Oh, I would guess I started thinking about creating a company in probably 2006, 2007. We did spin out integrated diagnostic in its first version at that time. And the company failed because the key instrument we use for quantifying proteins, namely the mass spectrometer, was not sensitive enough at that time to be able to analyze the blood proteins that are uh, critical for the diagnosis. So a few years later, we reconstituted the company and successfully launched integrated diagnostics. And it has been able to demonstrate that this is indeed a powerful approach to to disease diagnostics. I think that the way you have to deal with visions that don't have 
supporting technologies is very cautiously. And clearly starting integrated diagnostics too soon was, was something we should have been able to foretell would not work very well. But we uh, spent a few million dollars and got failure. And uh, I'm glad to say now that, that uh, it's worked in its present form. I think uh, it's going to be the beginning of many diagnostics for different diseases that uh, integrated diagnostics will be able to pioneer. I think for healthcare, for medicine in the future, the very first thing we have to figure out how to do effectively is the early diagnosis of disease. And what uh, integrated diagnostics represents is a first giant step forward in a commercial vein to being able to do this successfully, to create these blood biomarker panels and then spin them off commercially and make them available to physicians. So I'd say Integrated Diagnostics is the company that's taking a gigantic step forward in being able to do effective blood diagnostics. And these diagnostics will, will let us do five different things. One, we can distinguish normal from diseased individuals. Two, in most cases, we'll be able to diagnose the disease very early. Three, we'll be able to follow the progression of disease. Uh, four, we'll be able to follow the response, the therapy uh, to the disease and how effective it is. And fifth, we'll be able to take a disease such as lung cancer and stratify it into its different subgroups. And that's really going to be important in the future so you can match the type or subgroup of lung cancer you have against a proper therapeutic reagent. That one of the most important things the scientists can do is transfer their knowledge effectively to society. And I think this is a beautiful example of where we've taken a conceptual idea and come to realize it through the development of new technologies. And now we have a blood marker panel that is going to change the world of lung cancer for the patients out there. So it's been enormously gratifying.